and we have with us uh, Yusuf Aftab. Good morning, Yusuf. Peace be with you. Okay. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Morning, Kiyum. And the rest of you guys, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. How are you? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, not too bad. Um, busy yeah, busy period just, for you? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I was just on a, um, a Humanity First call uh, with the European countries, the European chapters of Humanity First and some of the Middle Eastern countries of the work that they're, what they're doing. So that's uh, been conducted. We usually do that on a weekly basis just to find out the situation around COVID across the globe. Um, and then the efforts that have been made by the varying Humanity First chairs in, in those countries. Well, instead of me asking you, uh, you know, please enlighten our... I mean, that was going to be my next question as to... I know you're, in, you're responsible um, for the international chapter. So do let yeah. us know what the activities of Humanity First are um, around the world and how the virus has affected different countries in different ways and what's, what, what is being done um, by Humanity First. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of news out there and sometimes there's quite a lot of um, unfortunately fake news as well in terms of what's going on with the virus. Obviously it's unprecedented times, it's very, very challenging and the challenges for each country are, are quite different from one to the other. So, you know, developing countries have their own challenges around infrastructure, um, the structure around their health systems and so forth and, you know, sanitation and water, etc., which are things that you, you take as granted in um, developed countries, like if you take, example, the European countries in the UK, um, where we have all this solid infrastructure in place, but now we've been brought to a halt and impacted by the coronavirus, and, and it doesn't differentiate and discriminate against any rich, poor uh, type of country. It just impacts everybody in the, in the same manner, but more so um, those that may not have that uh, that good infrastructure from a health system uh, in place. So what Humanity First International is doing, I'd probably start with the developing countries more for, uh, so in, in Africa and some of the Middle Eastern countries where we haven't seen a huge amount of cases at the moment. There are cases of COVID-19, um, there are some deaths that have taken place as well. But for them, it's all about preparation and preparedness. Um, you know, Humanity First a couple of years ago with the Ebola crisis as well, was able to make a huge impact. So that level of knowledge has transitioned there to ensure that uh, material is available in uh, their local dialect and their local language. So advising people in terms of hy hygiene measures, uh, how to prevent um, um, getting the virus in the first place, the principles around social distancing, setting up of pumps uh, for water there, um, having uh, sanitizers, uh, that the general public can utilize and families can use and, and also distribution of these products like, for example, Indonesia, our team there, Humanity First, have uh, working with uh, members of the Jamaat there, Lejna, have manufactured, according to WHO specification and guidelines, um, sanitizers, and they've branded them with a HF mark on them. And they've been distributing them to families for free. This is uh, a concept that's going across the board in Pakistan to... Uh, uh, varying other parts of the country where where we are we are formulating them and, and making them and, and then they're just having local distribution. Um, same in sort of Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, where there are um, UN camps of refugees. And, and as you can imagine, when you've got a huge amount of refugees, the problem around COVID can be huge because people are gathered together. That that impact of social distance is very cramped. So we're just trying to do the right thing for them. You know, in certain of these camps, there it's it's cold as well. Um, obviously, the, uh, the climates are very, very different. Um, so Humanity First are doing, you know, from food distribution to ladies sewing masks um, to making uh, manufacturing of uh, sanitizers and supporting deliveries to hospitals and, and, and so forth. So that's very much that's happening in those countries um, in sort of Middle East and, and, and Asia. In Pakistan, again, um, the remotest part of the villages, um, the, the Tia Himayati First Pakistan team is out and about there distributing uh, uh, PPE, so personal protective equipment, food parcels. India uh, have set up water pumps um, where the common public, even the uh, police, etc., can utilize them You know, the, um, uh, in terms of having clean water to wash their hands education around so, uh, use of soap, etc. Um, again, they're doing massive distribution around uh, food, uh, medical camps, uh, wherever they can support that. 
And then if you bring it back here, sort of closer to home and, and the European countries, you know, where a lot of efforts have been made by teams in Sweden, uh, where they're doing, uh, you know, a lot of the places are shut down. So they're supporting a lot of shelter homes, um, charities, hospitals of doing delivery of uh, food products. Um, same Similar things are happening in Holland, uh, Belgium, Switzerland. Um, so the organization is working with its implementing partners in terms of uh, the Yamadi Muslim Youth Association, the Elders Association, Lijna, the British Red Cross, um, shelter organizations, so a variety of external organizations as well in terms of helping. And then if we bring it closer to home in terms of the UK, the UK have got a support line which has been spread by the government as well as an active support line, not a replacement for 111. Um, uh, but it's uh, in support of uh, providing non-medical uh, advice and, and support and being able to deliver products, groceries, but, you know, help people with post, etc. And that's what the UK team have been doing here. Really busy. They've been really busy with that. But that's what's happening across Humanity First. And uh, I'd say, you know, we're probably operating in probably over 20 countries at the moment in, in terms of our international efforts. So um, I, I hope that's sort of useful for the viewers to hear in terms of what is Humanity First doing across the globe. And how have you found the, the, 